Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today for these moments with our Good Shepherd Jesus. For our devotion, I'm going to read from John chapter 2, verse 10. Everyone brings out the choice wine first, and then the cheaper wine, but you have saved the best till now. The best for last. Some years ago, an advertising jingle for a popular candy asked, Do you eat the red ones last? <laughs> there was really nothing special about the red ones. They were candy-coated chocolates, and the red ones tasted the same as all the other colors of candy-coated chocolates in the pack. But the commercial suggested that the red ones were special, or the best and it made people think that they should save the best for last. The banquet master at the wedding of Cana did not know who had provided the new wine. He just knew that it was better than the wine that had been served earlier. He also knew that this was unusual. Most hosts serve the best wine first, but at this wedding, the best was served last. Though it was unusual at a wedding in those days, this miracle of Jesus suggests something about the kingdom of God. The best is yet to come. The blessings we experience in our life with God, the goodness of God's creation, the joy of Christmas, the consolation that comes from God's presence, the freedom that comes with forgiveness, all these are just a taste of the new life God has promised in Jesus. 2022 may have held many challenges for you, perhaps even a few disappointments, but I'm sure it also had its share of joys. Will 2023 bring more of the same? Likely. Will it be better than 2022? Maybe, maybe not. The creator of the universe comes to us and says, don't be afraid, don't be discouraged. What happens in this coming year is not left to chance. God is in charge and he promises to stay close. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Many years later, the Lord Jesus made the same promise when he said, I am with you always. That's the reason we can wish each other a happy new year. As the year ends, we look forward in hope, for God saves the best for last. We pray. Faithful God, you have prepared what no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind can conceive. Help us to keep looking forward in hope to that day when our faith shall be sight. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, my friends, relish that thought that whatever 2023 may hold, God saves the best for last 